Hi there. Um, right, on this video, I'm going to show you um, just a, a bit, little bit of resin work. Uh, I'm by no means an expert. I just sort of like to dabble in it. So, um, and it's, one sec, uh, it, it's, it's one of them things you build up a big collection of all sorts, um, especially things like moulds. Um, I've got a big box of moulds over there. Uh, mica powders. A lot of these can come from other crafts as well. Um, pigment inks, glitters, um, embellishments. Some of these are sort of from card making and whatever that I do. And, uh, and I just sort of cross them over. I've also, I've got a, um, a trolley that I use to keep all my resin bits on. Now, some of the things I've learnt from others since I've been playing with resin um, is using these bottles. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to mix my resin up. So... And I find the best way is weighing it out. It depends really on the type of resin you use. This is a two-part resin. And um, so we do equal parts of uh, both resins. And then they need to be mixed together. So my bottles are marked A and B. And... Um, so that's 63 grams. I'll put it back to zero. If my scales will. Come on, there we go. And that one doesn't want to come out. So I'm going to pull it out. So getting the measurements right is an important part of resin because if you don't, your resin won't set, it will stay bendy or it just won't set at all, it will just stay liquid. So you really need to be quite accurate with your measuring. Some of them you measure out um, in quantity rather than weight. I've stuck with the same resin since I've started uh, because I I know this one now. Um, I've only been dabbling with resin really for the past year. use um, wooden stirrers but then I found you're better off using plastic ones so and you need to stir it for a good 10 minutes I should have put this in a bigger container actually looking at the quantity there but there we go so I'm going to continue stirring this up for about 10 minutes, giving it a, a good mix up. And um, then I'll come back to you uh, with the next bit. You don't really want to sit here and watch me for 10 minutes just stirring this. So, as you can see, I'm only wearing one glove because um, I can't be doing with... I, I do I find wearing gloves very very difficult but resin um, you really don't want to be getting on your skin so I just tend to use it on the one hand that I'm likely to get resin on so I'm going to continue stirring that then for 10 minutes and uh, then we'll come back and I'll show you what I do next right my resin's uh, now mixed up enough 
so I'm going to I'm going to use this mold to start with there'll be more than enough resin left over for something else I'm sure um, and I, I do tend to use silicon and I use silicon mat because it's easy to clean the resin off silicon so right I'm going to show a couple of different techniques just on doing this mold so I'm going to start with some mica powder oh. I've picked the one that's never been opened there we go right don't need a lot over there so I can't knock it down and I'm brushing the inside of the mold with the mica powder like I said I'm, I'm no way am I an expert at this but I just um It's just bits and pieces I've picked up and played with along the way. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but that's all in there now. And I'm just going to give it a tap just to get any loose out. There we go. So that's quite a, a pretty colour for that one. Um, So we should start by pouring into there. And we'll put it right up to the top of the mould. really want bits over the edge now if you're going to do resin um, one thing you have to do is wherever you decide I can see a little air bubble down there you have to leave resin for at least 24 hours so you want it You want it sitting on something stable so that if you intend moving it, you can do. Because once it starts to set, you don't want to be um, shoving it around. Right. Now the next one. I'll tell you what these are after I've um, got them set. So the next one I'm just pouring in nice clear resin. You can add colours to your resin as well. Oops. You can add them with um, alcohol inks. You can add them with acrylic. I'm going to use a pipette. Acrylic paints. Um, what you want to do is avoid anything water-based. Water and resin don't go well together.
to make sure I get all the little corners filled in. So it really is, it, it's a messy craft. It's not a clean, tidy craft. It is a messy craft. Right, now with that one, I'm going to add... some alcohol ink is that another one without that one hasn't been used let's find another one that hasn't been opened is that there must be another red somewhere that has been opened Go back. Where's the blue that I use? Is it that one? No. That one. some of that colour into the edges right so that's alcohol ink that's mica powder right. Now these two, I'm going to add embellishments to, oops, the other side of my cup. Won't be doing that, let me put it into a firm, firm cup. around the edges a bit oops big dollop in the middle there big dollop in the edge there right now the embellishments i've sorted out 
Oh. Are these? They're tiny, tiny little slices of um, polymer clay. Oh, we pick up the little ones I've sorted out. I mean, they really are. These ones are little butterflies. So these are going to go in. Let's put that one over there. And then the other lot I've got. some little mini playing cards Now to the butterfly one, I'm going to add a bit of um, glitter as well. a little bit just to give it a little bit of a sparkle and I'm going to top off with a little bit more resin Now there is another sort of resin you can get um, that you cure with um, a UV light so there's no mixing or nothing involved. There we go. That type of resin is it's not suitable for this type of thing. Um, it's more suited. Let's push him down a bit. It's more suited for little bits of jewellery and that. So, right. Now, as I've got some resin left, I'll scrape it out of there as well. What I've got left. I was going to pour, if there was just a little bit left, I was going to pour in um, some jewellery moulds, but I'm not. Um, what I'm going to do is I've got this mould here and it is actually only around the edges that it goes. When it comes out it will form that shape. 
uh, apart from apart from these bits here they're just there for support and what it's for is the other part of the mold is these antlers so it's to make these antlers where is this one there there's nothing there right the antlers go in see that on the video they go in at the top of the mold there and um, I made them some time ago out of some leftover bits of resin and they're to hang rings and that on um, let me put these other molds out of the way I want to shift that up and then I'll put all my messy tools out of the way because what I want to do is mix in some colour into the base So I'm just adding some black colourant there. So just stirring it through the resin. And I'm also going to add a bit of All the glitter to it the glitter won't really show up but I wanted to add a fine <coughs> mica glitter Where's my mic? No, can't find a fine one. Let's just add a bit more of this chunky one. Pour this in and around the base. So it's going it's going to be a jewelry tray with the antlers um as ring holders or the bracelets or whatever Probably not got enough resin here to fill this mould, but what I shall do is once this resin starts to go off, I will um, top it off with a clear resin.
you can make your own molds for um, resin work but um, I don't fancy that I'm quite I'm quite happy to buy in molds and there is thousands and thousands of molds out there now right so that needs topping off because that needs to be completely filled up to the top edge get it so once that's um, thickened a bit I will um, come back and top it off with a bit of uh, clear resin and you could yeah, the glitter hasn't um, quite sunk sometimes glitter sinks um, right down to the very, very bottom but um, it doesn't seem to be so right so we'll come back in 24 hours when this has set and that's those four there I'm going to mix up some clear now just to uh, top this one off here um, and then uh, yeah so we'll come back tomorrow when those are set right the um we're back to the next day now and the resin has set i've already taken this one out of its mold this was the tray that was in the big mold um, as you can see it has set lovely um, and this one of course is the one that the antlers go in as a jewellery holder so it's just a, an accessory tray um, all made out of resin now and the antlers to hang rings and um, bracelets and that on so that's that one done these were the little things I have taken them out of the bowls just to check that they're done but that was the that's the one with the mica powder That was the one with the added alcohol inks. So if I show you the, the other side, there we go. You can see the pattern that the alcohol inks made. This one we added the little butterflies and the glitter to. And this one has got the little miniature playing cards in. So and you may be wondering, if you don't know already, what these are. Let me show you. All right, one book. Now, usually, uh, I'm just going to tilt you up a little bit. Oh. Book. In it, anything like me, you're in bed with your book like that. And, um, and after a while your thumb and that hurts so with these you pop your thumb in that uh, you pop that in the crease of your page and the wings hold it open for you let me show you one of the other colors that's not the best you can't really see that color on top let's move you out the way <sighs> So they're um, yeah, page holders, that's what they are. Takes the strain off your, your thumbs while you're reading your book in bed or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, quite, a, quite a clever little thing really. So, yeah, 
there so that's what they are so that, that's a bit of resin work um i hope you've enjoyed it please tune in for the uh, next video coming up um next week <laughs>